Hello everyone, in today's video, I will introduce to you one of the powerful and versatile open source software that provides comprehensive navigation capabilities for mariners. This video is about the Electronic Chart Display and Information System, known as ECTIS, specifically focusing on OpenCPN. This software will be helpful for professional sailors, a recreational boater, or for those maritime students who want to enhance themselves for navigational safety and efficiency, most especially in creating a passage plan. Since this is open source software, we can download it from the official website free of charge. It can be installed on a PC, laptop, or even on an Android phone or tablet. Additionally, we can also download the electronic navigational charts or ENCs from the official website for free. Let's start by installing this free software, along with the ENCs, and then explore the capabilities of this ECTIS. To download the software, go to opencpn.org. This is their official website. On top, select Downloads. To download the latest release, left-click on the current version. The latest version when I made this video is 5.8.4. If the operating system of your PC or laptop is Windows, choose this download option. For Mac, download it from here. For Raspberry Pi, click this link to see the full instructions. You can download the app from the Google Play Store for the Android phone and tablet. Since the operating system of my laptop is Windows, I will download it from this link. The download is completed, let us open the folder. This is the application, OpenCPN version 5.8.4, let us install it. Right click and run as administrator. Choose the language you prefer, then press OK. Then next. 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 You can select the destination folder, then click on Next. Just press Next. And Next. Then Install. Installation is now going on. Left click Finish to complete the installation. It will automatically open. It states that OpenCPN is distributed in the hope that it will be useful, but without any warranty then must only be used in conjunction with approved paper charts and traditional methods of navigation. Anyway in an international trade, merchant vessels must carry an approved ECTIS on board. But this software might be useful for those who are sailing with small boats, and for those sailors and maritime students who want to enhance themselves in making a passage plan. Let's click OK. We have already installed the ECTIS on our PC. First, we go to Setting. On the upper left corner, left click on this gear icon. This is the setting. On the display, under General, check these boxes for smooth panning and zoom to cursor. Below, click Apply and OK. I will discuss the other settings later on. If we look at the screen of our Ectus, it looks like a simple world map. Even if we zoom in, no chart details are available. This is because no electronic navigational chart or ENCs have been installed in this ECTIS. To get the ENCs for free, we can download it from their official website, or we can directly download it using the chart downloader in this software. To download, go to Settings. Select Chart. And go to Chart Downloader. Then select Catalog. Below, left click on Add Catalog. These are the charts that we can download for free. Let us download the US charts. Click on this plus sign before the folder to expand. Then choose ENC. Here you can choose the specific ENCs that you want to download. But if you want to download all US charts, Click here to expand all ENCs, then left click on all. Below, click OK. 
This is the destination folder for the selected ENCs that we are going to download. Above, left click on Download Charts. These are all the US charts that we can download. Composed of 4,392 charts. If you want to download all of these charts, be sure to check all the boxes on the left side, just left click on Select All. As you can see, some charts need an update. Later on we will update these charts. Next, click this download selected chart to start downloading. It is now downloading. But it takes time to download depending on your internet connection. I will abort the ongoing download since I have already downloaded all these ENCs and compiled it into one folder. For your convenience, you can download these charts in the comments section. If the download is complete, go to Select Catalog. We need to update the charts before we can display it in our ECTUS. So left click on Update. It is updating. If the update is complete, below, click Apply, then OK to display the charts. If you have completely downloaded the charts, it will automatically display once the Apply button is clicked. However since I cancelled the download, no charts will be displayed. Let us go to another way of installing the ENCs in this software. If you have downloaded the compiled ENCs, it is in a RAR file. Extract it. Once extracted, this is the folder. If we open it, these are all the ENCs we can install in this ECTUS. Let's install it. Go to Settings. Select Charts. In the Chart Files, left click on Add Directory. Then, find the extracted file with the file name ENCs compiled. Remember the file location of this folder. Left click on the folder. Click Select Folder. We have already added it to the directory, click on it. Below click Apply, then OK. We have successfully installed the ENCs in our ECTUS. We can see here the chart outline of the ENCs that we have installed. Let us zoom in to see the chart details. Let's see the Singapore Strait. We can see the traffic separation scheme. The charted depth. The light description. And all the necessary information we need to know in making a passage plan. Let us check the English Channel. It is also installed. Let us check the US charts. The US charts are also installed. After the installation, we need to do some settings to display the necessary information in the ENCs, and hide those that are unnecessary. Go to lower right corner and left click on these three lines. Here we can select the different default settings, and what information are to be displayed in the ENC. I prefer the user standard so that I can choose which information will be displayed or hidden. If you want to display or hide this information, just check or uncheck the corresponding boxes. Let's say you want to hide the text in these ENCs, just uncheck the box for show text. As you can see, all text has been hidden. If you want to hide the chart's outlines, uncheck this box. Chart outlines will disappear. Next, let us click this gear icon. On the display, go to Units. You can set here your preferred units. For the depth, I set it to meters, so the charted depth is in meters. For the advanced, and templates, leave it for now. Let us go to charts. 
Left click on vector chart. You can copy this setting if you like. For the user standard objects, if you select all, and hit apply, all the information here will be displayed in your chart. If you want to limit the information displayed, click this reset to standard, then review it one by one. Check the necessary information that should be displayed, and uncheck the unnecessary, then click apply, and hit OK. You can choose four or two color schemes in this ENC. White, gray, light blue, and blue. These colors depend on the set safety parameters below. I have made a separate video on how to determine these values, kindly check the link in the description. Let us change these colors into two. As you can see, only two colors are available, white and blue. These colors are recommended especially during night mode. For the connection, this is used when we connect a USB GPS to our laptop. This will update the ship's present position if you are on board. There are plenty of USB GPS you can purchase online at low prices. For the installation, kindly check other videos. Just explore other settings available in this menu. On the left side of your screen, below the gear icon, this is used in creating a route. Below is a route manager. I will discuss this when we create a passage plan. This icon is used to set day and night modes. As you can see, there are three available color schemes for night mode. Let us create a passage plan in this Ectus. Let's say, Manila to Kalang. Click this icon, or you can right click on your mouse and select New Route. A pen appeared on the screen. Point a pen to where you want to create your waypoint, then left click, drag your mouse, and left click to the next waypoint. If you want to terminate the use of the pen, right click on your mouse and choose End Route. Next is to check every leg we have created. Let's zoom in. I will just edit this route along the Singapore Strait to make this video shorter. To change the position of a waypoint, simply point the cursor at the waypoint, then left click and hold the mouse, and drag it to the desired location. If you want to insert a waypoint, point the cursor on the leg, then right click, and select, Insert Waypoint. A new waypoint was created. Drag the waypoint to the desired position. Do this from departure to arrival point. If you want to know the information of a particular symbol in the chart, point the cursor at that particular symbol, then right click, and select Object Query. This symbol is a rec, and here is the detailed information. You can check the depth below. I will make a separate video on how to interpret the following information. If you want to measure the distance of your leg from this rec, Right click on the mouse, select measure, then left click from the reference point to the leg. There you can see the distance. To terminate this task, right click and select, measure off. If you are finished editing your route, go to this icon, route and mark manager. This is the new route we have created. Go to properties to see the details of this route. As you can see, we have the distance. This is the distance for every leg. 
This one is the total distance. The coordinates are here. We have the ETA, based on the set speed. And here is the course for every waypoint. You can fill up above the additional information for this particular route. If you are finished, click OK. This is now the route name, and we have also the departure and destination point. You can also export and import routes in a GPX file. If your laptop is connected to the GPS receiver, you can send this route by clicking Send to GPS. This software might be helpful for those officers in charge of the passage, most especially if you do not have available ENCs yet for that particular route. While waiting for the subscription of the ENCs, you can make a passage plan using your laptop. If the ENCs arrive, just transfer the route details to your ECTUS and then validate it. I will make a separate video on how to make a complete passage plan. That's all for now. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye.